welcome back dosto hope your uh, prelims preparation is going well right so let us go ahead and continue with part eight of our uh, current revision so today also we will be looking about the pollution uh, disaster management and waste management etc so today we will be looking about the following topics uh, right from the fl uh, fly ash and uh, regarding some uh, issues uh, from the industries like this paint pot lining from the aluminum industry similarly red mud is also from comes from the aluminum process uh, and we will look at the uh, biofuels double burning issue and uh, buddha nala and uh, later we will look at the disaster need assessment is a kind of assessment that has been done so black carbon and what is its effect semic member that has been re uh, recently came what is its significance we will look at the additional finance assistance from the ndrf that stands for national disaster response fund right so we will look at uh, the first e waste clinic delhi even out scheme we will look at the himalayan region and the connectivity with the climate change and there is a report regarding the same we will look at the ozone layer asbestos in the baby powder recently this is in news because of the johnson and johnson powder right and finally we will look at the air quality right warning system early warning system the first topic is about the fly ash so this is generally uh, the product of the thermal power generations the like uh, because when we use the coal for the production of the power right so it comes uh, fly ash comes and uh, this goes up to a range of 20 to 30 kilometers and it deposits on the surfaces and later uh, due to rains it might leach down into the ground waters and it might cause issues of the public health so uh, however, uh, however recently technologies have been come up like by using by separating this fly ash using the processes like the electrostatic separation we can use this fly ash in the cement industry for the uh, for the building uh, blocks etc right so the next topic is about this spent pot lining so this is uh, this is a result of the aluminium plants because of the smelting process so we know generally this in smelting process we use cyanide and related products in related compounds so these are carcinogenic agent uh, so which is a hazardous so these has been notified under the hazardous waste management rule 2016 so please do refer if there is any kind of uh, no uh, uh, important points regarding such rules for example uh, we have seen the ex uh, extended producer responsibility that has been asked in upsc prelims regarding the e waste okay so the next topic is about the biofuels the government has allowed to use the b100 uh, the uh, high speed uh, uh, high speed diesel okay with blending so it is according to the bureau of Indian standards we have this national policy and vfls which says that 20 percent uh, blending of the ethanol uh, can be done in petrol and five percent in biodiesel and it is this target is by 2030 okay we have we already seen about the national policy and vfls we have we have seen uh, the four generations that is from the uh, right from the food uh, using the food uh, food to food uh, like food plantations to uh, microorganisms which undergo the genetical variations right so please do look at that so the next topic is about the red mud so uh, ministry has uh, minister of mines has organized a workshop on how to effectively you know uh, use this uh, red mud so it is a kind of a solid waste which is generated in the produ uh, in the aluminium uh, process production process so it has the impurities like caustic soda and others so uh, so the, they were they were complain, uh, contemplating how to utilize this red mud too so we have this uh, solid waste management rules this is extra information so this has uh, first it was initially given in 2000 later now they have been updated in 2016 so what are the types of uh, solid waste plastic e-waste bio media medical stuff uh, hazardous waste construction and demolition waste okay we have three hours reduce reuse and the recycle okay so please do remember three hours generally next the topic is about this stable burning so what happened is uh, there is a center uh, the center has come up with a scheme for the promoting the agriculture mechanization for the in situ management of the crop residue in the northern states like the nct punjab haryana and Uttarkan, uttar pradesh so uh, the reason why is like uh, uh, the farmers there have the tenden, uh, general tendency to burn this residue which is causing a high amount of the smog in the regions of nct and surrounding areas which is uh, which is causing a huge air, uh, air pollution and a huge human threat so it has been reduced 15 percent in 2018 as compared to the previous uh, year so but this is this, they have come to this figure by satellite using satellite data so so this generally what happens this double burning uh, produces the carbon dioxide sulfur sox nox and particulate matter 
So we already seen about the EPCA, that is the Environment Pollution Control Authority that has come up by the Supreme Court judgment, right? So um, they, they also in this context, they are coming up uh, trying to get a biopower producers. Uh, like, uh, so what happens here is they use this stuff, right? This stuff, this residue, a supplement free stock, okay? Uh, for the uh, utilizing by certain kind of industries. The next topic is about the Buddha Nala. So what happened uh, generally, uh, this Buddha Nala is very much famous. Like uh, it has starts, it starts from uh, Kum Kalan in Ludhiania and travels for uh, 47 kilometers and joins the Satlaj river. So generally it was a fresh water. So that time it was called as the Buddha Dharia. But now because of owing to the, uh, no, pollution that has been caused due to the release of the sewage industry and waste uh, domestic weight into this thing it is called as nala generally it is nothing but the drain the next topic is about the post disaster needs assessment right so the national institute of disaster management recently organized this so this is a tool this is a tool developed by the united nations development group world bank and european union so the what is the aim uh, to develop and use common assessment and recovery planning approach post crisis post crisis setting like isko kaise use karna hai strategy ko so uh, in this context uh, hum ye dekhenge yahan pe national disaster management authority ek hai uh, which is came up in 2006, 2006 and its its chairman chair, chairperson kon hai prime minister as the national uh, tiger uh, no authority is there right conservation authority similarly here the prime minister is the chairperson so, uh, here disaster management act hai, 2005, we have disaster management rules from this, right? So, disaster management rules we have for the different uh, disasters like floods, droughts, right? The next topic is about the black carbon and its effects on the development of unborn baby. So, this is a, uh, there has been a study and how it is affecting the fetus, right? So, they have, they have detected this on the fetus facing the placenta. Okay, so this is affected, this is, so uh, if, if they are uh, finding this uh, percentage on this side, it means that it will be affecting the unborn baby, right? So, uh, what is the black carbon? Black carbon generally contains a pure uh, carbon in several lymph forms. Uh, how this comes? Because of the incomplete combustion of the fossil fuels, biofuel, biomass. So, this might be natural uh, occurring or anthropological reasons, right? The next topic is about the ceramic members. So we see here the Central Gas, Glass and the Ceramic Research Institute that is there in Kolkata has developed these membranes for the treatment of water contaminated with heavy metals. Okay, so uh, so it is prepared from the mixture of inorganic substances such as aluminium and clay. So the filter is able to segregate the metals such as the iron, arsenic, uh, fluoride, etc. with along with the other pollutants. So, uh, why it is important because the long term exposure to these uh, heavy metals will lead to physical, neurological other diseases like uh, it might be contributing to Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, etc. Okay. So, we have uh, different uh, uh, no, met, uh, metals, heavy metals and related diseases. So, uh, in science, scientific view, please remember this, uh, arsenic uh, causes black foot disease, mercury causes Minamata disease, we have the Minamata convention, please do remember that. Uh, and cadmium causes itai itai disease nitrate causes blue baby syndrome so this is like other, otherwise called as methanoglobinemia the next topic is about the ndrf there was recent uh, additional finances assistance that has been given to the karnataka and bihar so so what happened uh, so additional information regarding the same here is so initially it was called as a national calamity contingency fund Okay, so now this has been renamed as, as the response fund. So with the, how with the, with the enactment of Disaster Management Act 2005. So this is placed under the public account. Public account is an article 266.2 of our constitution. Okay. The next topic is about the India's first e-waste clinic. So this has uh, come up in the Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. What does it do? Uh, so it is for the uh, it does the segregation, processing, and disposable of the e-waste. We have the e-waste uh, rules 2018 where uh, producer responsibility a term has been coined. Okay, so this has been UPSC claims. 
so this is a general topic this is a delhi uh, delhi's odd even scheme where uh, uh, in the months uh, in the now in months like november to 9 november and december generally the uh, state government gives notification like uh, in alternative days either you have to run uh, the odd uh, the odd numbers of uh, odd numbered uh, vehicles or the uh, even number twisted number that is a number plate vehicles okay so this is to reduce the number of vehicle load on the road and also reduce the amount of the carbon dioxide and oil excess weight that is being released from these vehicles so uh, so the next topic is about the IM, uh, imd the in, uh, india meteorological department along with the collaboration with the uh, china and pakistan meteorological agencies uh, they have come up uh, uh, to provide the climate forecast services to this particular regions right that is the hindu kush himalayan region so this where is this region this ranges ranges from afghanistan bangladesh bhutan china india myanmar nepal and pakistan so generally it stores more snow and ice than anywhere else in the world please do remember more snow and anywhere in the world outside the polar regions that is the arctic antarctic so that's the reason this is called as the third pole the next topic is about the, about the ozone hole so recently we have seen uh, so in the uh, that the this in in, in antarctica region in, in antarctica region there is a high certain peak in the, like it has spread to 16.4 million square kilometers on the september 8th then it shrank to 10 million square, uh, square kilometer this this smallest size has been observed since 1982 why there is sudden alteration because it, it is said to be the abnormal weather patterns in the atmosphere so in warmer temperatures like uh, like here the f- uh, fewer polar stratospheric uh, stratospheric clouds form and they do not persist long limiting the ozone depletion process okay please do remember this uh, this is the important the, the, that is the polar stratospheric clouds which has a major role in the formation of the ozone hole so regarding regarding the ozone hole we have uh, Oz- uh, montreal protocol kigali amendment okay we already seen about the Kigali amendment in our earlier uh, chap, uh, parts so as best was in uh, berry powder so what happened uh, johnson and johnson talc this in this uh, particular talc it has been found that asbestos have been found in this particular talc so uh, generally talc is a like softest material that we can found uh, by the man so uh, so it has very wide range of applications so what is found light uh, is also found in underground and ve- uh, and veins and it's gone found in deposits so it's generally it's a kind of uh, like a resource okay so this is kind of a heavy metal that can cause diseases we already discussed this right the next topic is about the air quality early warning system so in uh, ministry of the earth sciences has launched its advanced air quality early warning system why to predict the places nearby the delhi uh, that are likely to burn the crop residue on a given day how uh, they they take up the data for the past 15 years and they predict uh, uh, might be on these days uh, there is a possibility of this kind of burning right the system is developed by indian institute of tropical uh, meteorology this is very much important institute this is this is there in pune okay so uh, please do share your feedback and uh, 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 Please uh, spend a part of time daily in uh, solving the past MCQs and uh, UPS MCQs and uh, uh, no uh, uh, focus on your uh, focus on your both current and static as well. So till next part, take care. Thank you.